you head to work, school, or the grocery store, chances are on your way you'll run into some type of road construction. For a lot of us, the bright orange cones and detours may be frustrating, but for the city, it means progress. In a story you're, you'll only see here on KRBC. Road improvements in Abilene, always a hot topic, and a lot of conversation about road improvements started back in 2015 when the city approved a bond project to redo 25 major roads in Abilene. The first, Antley Road, and now, more than five years later, the city completing its final project project in downtown Abilene. The city says there's still a lot to do past this bond project, but today our Jessica Rank taking a look back to see how far we've come and how those tax dollars have been spent. Drew Witten spends most of his days turning wrenches and tuning up cars. Driving the Abilene streets probably the last 15 years. He does it all at his new business on the corner of Butternut and South 14. A street that today is with few roadblocks. It was so bad. It was always really rough and, you know, potholes like crazy. Butternut in the past was much like many streets in Abilene. Abilene's roads are a challenge. And it's not surprising that Witten himself fell victim to one of the many dips in the road. And I was driving back towards South First. I didn't see it. And, uh, I mean, it hit. It hit really hard. I got out and the pothole was about that deep. I didn't realize it was as big as it was until I got out and looked at it. My whole foot could fit in it. Back in 2015, street maintenance and repair in Abilene had fallen through the cracks. What really negatively impacted Abilene's roads was probably maybe not investing as they should have in that routine maintenance. In the past, Greg McCaffrey says the city would invest a mere 700000 a year in street maintenance. So by the time 2015 rolled around, the city has literally hundreds of millions of dollars in needs in streets. 377 million to be exact. And what they settled on, almost $46 million and 25 projects. This is a map of all the repairs in that bond project, each designated by a certain year of completion. On average, the city had between four and six projects undertaken each year. They weren't the worst roads in Abilene, but instead the ones that saw the most traffic. And by 2021, we're seeing the final repairs be completed. We received very good pricing through the course of the last five years on these projects. So we were able to save some money on that bond program initiative and it allowed us to do another major project, which was Sales Boulevards. A second portion to the reconstruction of roads is upkeep. There's routine maintenance that has to be undertaken as soon as you put a road in. The city making an effort to invest money in street maintenance, which is that fee we all see on our utility bill each month. Now that'll add almost six million annually to the city's budget for things like street sweepers, pothole repair. We had 600 potholes reported and addressed. And a few reconstruction projects. This is an infrastructure issue that's happening across the country. It's not just Abilene that a lot of cities are realizing we haven't put money into our streets in decades. Abilene right now has about 26 projects under its belt, making streets like Butternut smooth driving. It's really nice to drive down a brand new street. They still have a long way to go though. It's a long term haul for us as it is for so many other cities. But they'll take their time to stop at the signs, yield to important projects, making the red lights green again. Now the city says they're looking at an additional bond project for more road repair in Abilene, which will come up for a vote in the next couple of years. They also have invested money from the general fund into the C Click Fix app, which you can get right on your phone and report any pothole problems in your neighborhood that are in need of repair. The orange cones won't be going away anytime soon, but at least we can still continue down the road.